Okay, so next you want to extrude that hole with the 1.5 diameter. Extrude it back. Press create new solid. And just make it like 4 inches or something. Press OK. Now you have that part of the train. Okay. So next you want to go to the front of the train and you want to do all those little tiny holes. So you create a 2D sketch, go to the front of the train. Actually, before you do that, go ahead and do a combine. Combine this uh, little nub of the train to the body of the train. Click OK. So now it's all one piece. Then you create another 2D sketch on that front part of the train again. Okay, press so you left or for me it's left so you can see it. Then you create a point and stick it in the center so you see that little snappy green line thing. Click it somewhere on there. Press done. D for dimension, dimension that point. Let's see, how tall is it? It is 0 0.625. 0 0.625 inches tall. Then you do another point. You need to take one out here and take one out here. So you have two points like this. So you press D for dimension again. And you want to. Okay, so one, so. So it's 0 point. Okay. So. You press this, the point, and you press the left side, pull it up, and you make it, what is it, 0 0.5? 0 0.5, I think, I believe so, I believe that's right. Is that what it says? Well, it says that it's 1 inch and then 2 inches, so I think so, yeah. I just put 0 0.5, and then do the same with the other one, make it 0 0.5. Pretty sure that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, and then the height is 0 0.125. So now you take it and you go from here to the bottom and you extrude it out. Make it 0 0.125. 0 0.125. Do the same with the other one. 0 0.125. Enter. And then you finish sketch. Create a hole on all three of these. It's going to be the exact same hole for each one. You want to make it a flat point, flat drill again. Um, the diameter is 0 0.125, so this one down here, make it 0 0.125. And it goes in 0 0.5. I, oh no, I lied. It, go, it goes in 0 0.125. So make that 0 0.125. Press OK. Now you have your three holes in the middle. Right there. Okay, now you need to do the side holes. So you look out to the, on the side of your train. Create 2D sketch on that plane. Look at it so you can see it. Zoom in. Pan it. Done. Okay, so you want to create Oh no, I just created a plane. I want to create a sketch. There we go. You want to create a point somewhere, two points along here, one on the beginning, one at the end. You dimension it again so that the first point is one inch away. So you just make that one inch. And it is 0 0.5 inches in height from the train body. So 0 0.5. So I have one inch and 0 0.5. On that hole. So now, from from the end to the this hole over here is 4.5. So you take this, click the hole, then click the side, make it 4.5. Then you click the the um, point, then you click the bottom, and make it 0 0.5. And you have your two holes like this. Now finish sketch. Create a hole on both those points. Make distance all through all, and the diameter is, I think it's one zero point two five. I believe so. Um, yeah, you can see. 
Okay, yeah, so then just do 0.25. I hope that's right. Okay, good, okay. So now this is this is where like the pegs are gonna go through. Like your so the wheels can actually move, it'll rotate it in there. You still have one more hole to do. That's for the smokestack part. So in order to do that, you want to create a plane. You want to click the drop down. You want to click um, tangent to surface through edge. Oh no, tangent to surface and parallel to plane. So you want to click this, your your circular part. Then you want to click this plane right here. It's like either one of these doesn't really matter. So now you have a plane on top of your uh, your little nub thing. Done. Create a 2D sketch on that plane. I'm gonna rotate it so you can see it. And I'm pretty sure you can just stick a point right here in the center. I believe that's the center. That's the center, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's something like this. And then you want to create another point out here with the green line, if you can look at that. You want to just create somewhere, dimension it from this point to the other point, pull it out, and make it 0 0.88, it's another real number. And it didn't do it. So let's make a line. Let's go ahead and make a line so that the line won't move, like this. So then you just dimension the point of the line. 0 0.88, no, not 7, 7, 8, 8. There you go. So now you have this point, you can go ahead and delete this whole point. Or not. There you go. So now you just have this point over here. Then you want to finish sketch, create a hole. Not a fillet, a hole. Okay, and you want to click that point. It's a little hard to see, but it's there. And you want to make it flat again. You want to go 0 0.5 is the diameter of the hole. And it goes in 0 0.25. Not so, that 125 just change. Just delete the one, make it a 0 0.25. Click OK. So now you have that smoke sack whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, work plane invisible so you can see it better. So now that's all the main parts of it. You still need to fill it everything. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to fill it. Click on all fillets. And I believe it says to fill it at all. Round all edges to 0 0.1. 0 0.0. Yeah, it's just 0 0.1, so delete. So make it 0 0.2, 0, blah, blah, blah. just make the, okay, here, fill it, 0 0.1 is the radius, all fillets, uh, no, if not all rounds, still not, okay. Okay, so, I guess we just have to do that by hand, so just click fill it, just go in through every single one. Well, it you you can select them all. It's just that it says not. It will select all the holes, and the paper says not to do all drill holes. You can't. It won't let you. I already tried it. So now you just do this for quite a long time. Oh my gosh. What? Hold your face. I don't see. Oh, there's one. The back side? What? That one? Okay, and I believe that is all the fillets and rounds. We click OK. 
And now you have a beautiful filter train. Look at it. It's so awesome. And that is the end of the video. Goodbye.